Welcome back to another video. Let's get this NHL 18 volt battery powered coffee machine out of its box. Let's put it to the test. Is it any good? Well, we'll soon find out. Right, let's get these instructions out. Put them to one side. Lift the coffee machine out of the box. It's nice to see that no plastic packaging which is bad for the environment so it's all cardboard which is impressive wow first impressions looks really nice it's a nice size looks well made let's have a look at this insulated coffee mug Chewy first. It's made out of stainless steel. And it's insulated so it'll keep your coffee warmer for longer. Which is good. Obviously it's probably not the best looking of mug, but it's good enough for when you're out and about and you just need one of those coffees. Yeah, looks good to me. Feels nice and light in the hand, which is nice. Right, let's get this water compartment up, shall we? Just pull the cover up, and in there is a little water tank. You can just, there's a little handle you can just pull up. And a nice little feature on this, it's got measures on it, so you can measure exactly how much water you want in the tank, so. Obviously, if you've got more water, you get a bigger coffee, and if you want a smaller amount of water, you get a smaller coffee. That's the tray for the coffee beans to go in. Just pull it back, and then there you can just pop your ground coffee beans in there. Pop the lid down. Slide it back in. Jobs are good. And this one here is for coffee pods, which is really good. So you don't have to put ground coffee in it, you can get coffee pods from the supermarket. Just pop them in, and same thing, it just slides in. Nice, nice feature. Show you all the way around it. As you can see, got a handle there. Nice quality, there's where the battery goes. It's a bit 12, uh, 18 volt battery on it. Nice and light. Yeah, pleased with it so far. Right, let's get all the little bits washed. Make sure they're clean and then we'll be good to give it a go. As you can see, just give them a good wash because you just never know. Just get any residues off or whatever. So that's what I tend to do. So it's all clean now. Filled it with water and just popped it in. As you can see, I closed the lid. Just put Put my mug ready and ether. Right, and let's get onto the coffee, shall we? So I'm just using ground decaf coffee, which I use in my normal coffee machine. Just gonna flip it back, fill that little bit up in there. There we are, filled it all up. Just simply just push it down and slot it back into the machine. There we go. It's the machine. 
Let's pop the battery on, shall we? As you all know, but I just thought I'd put it in anyway. Your battery just goes in that bit there. Just clips in. Good to go. Right, let's get it turned on, shall we? Apparently it's going to take up to five minutes to brew the coffee. Which is not too bad, in my opinion. It's only battery powered at the end of the day. So, I'll come back about halfway through with a progress update and see how it's doing. Please like and subscribe, that would be massively appreciated. Help the channel grow. Got some very exciting stuff coming your way, so stay tuned. Just wanted to show you all a little something here. Just pop in the water, cover up. Now as you can see it's slowly going down, but it doesn't boil all the water in one go. It takes bits at a time, boils the water, then spits it out into the cup, and then repeats it until the water is completely gone. It doesn't boil it all at once, which you can't really expect for a battery powered machine to do. So as you can see in a minute, coffee's done. I did stop it a little bit short, so as you can probably see, it's, it's not a lot in there, but it is what it is, isn't it? Let's put some milk in it, shall we, and do the taste test. Well, as you've just seen, I've made my first coffee, and I have to say it's really, really nice. Really, really impressed with it. As you can see, it's flat, completely flat on the battery. It's a four amp battery, and I've run it through about three times just to clean it. So that would make about three cups of coffee to one four amp battery, which is pretty impressive, really. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.